Shut up, you cow tato. Words can hurt. I'm a potato. So, hey guys, what is up? Welcome back to another video. I know I haven't filmed for a while, and I'm really sorry for that, but I have been super busy, and like any free time I'd have, I would post on Instagram, and I'm really sorry for that. But I just wanted to say that now that I'm back, I'm gonna redo the tutorial that I did the GFX tutorial because I was so inexperienced back then, and we don't like that. So, I'm gonna redo it now that I'm more experienced and I know a lot more about GFX. Another thing I want to say, thank you so, so, so much for 150 subscribers. That's like crazy. And if you want to see some fun stuff, just stick around till the end. I will leave some bloopers of me because this video was filmed too many times. So let's just get right into it. <laughs> so basically what you want to start off by is opening Roblox Studio. If you don't already have it, just open Roblox from web, go to create, and then just start creating. But if you're like too lazy for this, like me, of course, <laughs> just go to the link down in the description. I will leave the link down in the description for you guys. So, now that you've gotten Roblox Studio, you want to go to Base Plate. And then, like, if there's nothing here right here, it's really easy to get it. So, you just go to View, open the Explorer, the Properties, and the Toolbox. You need all of them. And you, then you want to go to Model. And make sure all of these are unchecked and these are set to zero. I'm really sorry, my keyboard like, is kind of clicky. Honey is such a new bell MAO. After you've done that, you wanna from the toolbox, you will see this model, this person, and then go to plugins. You wanna get the low character plugin. Don't forget, you don't wanna get this one because this one costs Robux, which is the pro version. You wanna get the light version because. <laughs> doesn't cost anything to so just install it after you get it go to plugins then here you go type in your roblox username and then just spawn it r15 change this back to models as we will use it now that your character has been spawned maybe you would want to change a lot of things in it so we're gonna start off by changing all the clothes and the face so to change the shirt, from the explorer tab, you want to press this little arrow and you will see the shirt. Now just open Roblox, go to the avatar shop, go to clothing, and then just go to shirts. After we go here, just see the shirt that you would want to put, and then just copy the code. And then you want, from the shirt, paste it here. But if you don't have the shirts appearing, you will see this plus thing beside the username. Just press on it and then you can add from here. But if you already have it like I do, you want to just copy it and paste it. Like that. Same thing goes for the pants. Open the outer shop, clothing pants, and then just see the pants that you want. Maybe I will just use the To do that, just go to head, press this little arrow, and you have to get this decal. If you don't have it again from this little plus thing, just add decal. Now, same as the pants and the shirts, just open the outer shop, body parts, and then faces. Choose the face that you would want, and then just copy the code. But um, I don't really use the Roblox faces, I just go to Mexican, underscore radio, and then just get the faces that they have. Uh, his link will be in the description. 
the scroll of it, go to his inventory, and then just go to decals, and choose whatever face you want, and again, just copy the code, this code, control C, and then just control B. So now, I honestly don't really want these things. To select a lot of things at a time, just hold control, and then just select delete from the backspace now you would want to add nails so we want to hold alt to select a separate body part and hold control to select both so i'm going to select both and then just delete them now i'm going to type in nails and then just choose the nails that i want rotate them and then just start putting them and if you're unable to put them, make sure all of these are unchecked because if one of them is checked, as you can see, you won't be able to put it. Maybe if it's, this one's checked, same thing. And maybe if these aren't set to zero, it just wouldn't move freely. So make sure these are set to zero and all of these three are unchecked. And now that you've made sure, just put it. <laughs> so I'm gonna speed this part up because it takes me a lot of time. And now that you put them, what you have to do is, as you can see, they are not quite the same color as the skin tone. So what you have to do is just press on them. And then just from the properties tab, just change the brick color to the color of the skin. If you don't know what the color of the skin is, just hold alt and select a body part and then just check it. Honestly, I don't really want the nails themselves, so I'm just gonna quickly delete them. Like that. Maybe I'll rotate this one a little bit more. Oops. So I just wanted to say, you can also type... Hand poses. And you'll see all of these. So, are, are you willing to... Pan? Oh. Oops. Oh. 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 Okay. <laughs> um, that was quite weird, but we're gonna ignore that. <laughs> okay, after that, just... No, you only want one, though. After that... After that, you will see all of these poses. You can also use them, but I don't really like them. Or I do use them, but just not in this tutorial. <laughs> so after that, maybe you want to add hair. And then just choose the do. <laughs> and then just choose the weight that you want. And you want to ungroup it. And to do that, just control U. Control U. And then just ungroup now just pose it <laughs> and again i'm gonna say this again if you can't put it on your head make sure that these three are unchecked or else it wouldn't put on. so just you know, yeah <laughs> now maybe you want to like change things up and you want to like add freckles or something so to do that just from this models change it to images and then just type in freckles I'm gonna, I'm gonna put that back a little bit for a second and then just choose the freckles that you would want to add same thing for the blush and then just add it just like that i just don't really want it by the way quick note to ungroup press ctrl u any anyways after you've done that now you want to group them just select them all and then you will see this group just press on it and after that i'm just going to quickly delete this oh by the way if it turned like this don't worry it's totally fine it happens a lot this is where the tricky part begins basically we don't want like a really simple gfx so what you have to do is get them like a room or something you can just type in bedroom Or like living room just anything you would want but you know since it's me and i'm a roblox city builder just search my name which is marina moore 
with that keyboard sound with a stick. <laughs> oh, that was weird. And then just click on me. Go to my inventory. <laughs> and then go to models. And then just choose the model that you technically want. So for the sake of this video, I'm just going to use this one as it is the latest one. Just get it and get now. Uh, don't worry, all of them are completely free. Okay. Get. <laughs> After you got it, just open Roblox Studio and then just... You see this? this oh wait, my model is the same. Oh, I'm sorry, my microphone <laughs> fell. <laughs> But my model is like the second one. I'm really happy. Thank you guys so much. This is my model. <laughs> so anyways, after you get the model, just go to these four boxes from the two box and then just press on it. Voila! It is here. After that, just get in your character. You look fine. Just rotate it and pose it the way you want. So for the sake of this video, I'm just going to make her dance on the table because why not? Yeah. And she Loki looks like a blonde version of Charlie D'Amelio. Yeah. And let's just get into the posing. So just rotate it perfectly and then just pose it. So I really want to make her do the renegade, but it's going to be hard. So I'm just going to... Yeah, I'm going to speed this part up. After you have posed it, just select it and hold control and select the room as well. Group them together and then you want from the explorer tab, right click on the model, export selection. Then just basically give it a home. <laughs> uh, by the way, my models take a lot of time to export because they're like really heavy so I'm really sorry for that. If you like using any of my models, they do crash Roblox Studio and yes, they do crash Blender. Just be patient. Anyways, let's just wait. 10 years later. So I'm currently editing and I just forgot to film this part. So basically just open Blender when you're done exporting. If you don't know when it's done exporting, just... I will show you a video, quick video. Um, the little exporting selection thing will disappear. And after it disappears, just close Roblox Studio and open Blender. If you don't already have Blender, I will leave the download link in the description. I use Blender 2.79. I'll also leave a little tutorial on how to download it in the end of the video. After you open Blender, just delete After you open Blender, just delete this box by pressing delete and enter. Change this to cycles render, please. Blender render looks so bad when rendering. So just change it to cycles render. Thank you. To move in Blender, you have to press Shift F and then you just basically move freely. So just go to File, Import, Wavefront to OBJ, and then just basically import the link. 666 years of importing later. Now after it's been imported, you want to go to Objects, Transform, and then Origin to Geometry. And then just basically move the room. If this arrow moving thing didn't appear, it's probably because you have this closed. So just open it and then you'll have it. Now that everything is all set, before we do anything, my rooms are too heavy. So just click B and then just delete all of that. Like everything that is not gonna appear in the video, just delete it. Like. Anyways, so after you like deleted everything, you want to go to the camera. So, you can go to view and then camera, but sometimes you delete the camera by mistake and to get it back, just press shift A and then just camera. And then just go to view and then camera again. <laughs> How many times have I said camera? Change the resolution to 10K, but it's gonna take a lot of time to render if you do it to 10K. So, I prefer, if you like have a slow computer, just change it to 5K. But I'm gonna do 10k because this is what I mostly render in. And then just 
go to this <laughs> click this denoising tool change the radius to and then just you know like that by the way to get out of the camera just press the cursor and the mouse now we want to add some lights you know because we don't want it to be looking like this no we don't stand up we don't like that so what we're gonna do is shift a and then just change the lamp to sun now that you've added them and then go to the light settings and change this one to yellow like sun yellow and just control c control v and change this one to blue so now check the render see if you like the colors this gives you this amazing sun lighting and I really like it so yeah so if you're happy with your lighting you're all set to go now you want to go to this camera tab and then just scroll down a bit until you see transparent if you don't see it just make sure to open film and now that you're all set just render and now we wait so I just wanted to say that like I changed the resolution to 5k because 10k was gonna take me so long and I might go in a while. I just wanted to quickly announce that I did change the resolution to 5k. 120 minutes of rendering later. So after the render has been rendered, as you can see, you wanna save it. So just go to image, save as image, and then just technically save it. Save as image, and then just close render. And now for the editing part. So you can basically use any editing app you want, but I mainly use BigMonkey. Yep, still haven't changed from that. So use it. Um, it is amazing. It's such an amazing app to be honest. Now just add a new image. Computer. Choose the picture you just did. And then just watch me speed edit, or you can just skip to the end. And now after you've finished editing, just go to the snipping tool and then press U. Take the snip and then just save it like shown. I'm currently editing and I realized that I lost the recording to this. So yeah. Anyways, here's the final result. Hope you guys enjoyed the video and hope I helped if I did. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you want so i'm not gonna make you feel forced to do anything if you have any questions feel free to ask me down below in the comments thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you again in another video stick around for the bloopers <laughs> and the tour of course duh
is a quick tutorial on how to download Blender 2.79 as it is the version that I used in the tutorial. So just basically click the link down description and then go to download Blender 2.79. Then if you're on Windows, download this one. If you're on Mac, download this one. And if you're on Linux, download this one. I'm on Windows, so I'll download this one. I'll come back when the download is finished. So now that it's downloaded, you don't want to open it, just click this little arrow and then show in folder. And then basically you just want to press extract here. After extracting here, you have this file. Open it, then press on Blender Player and then just open Blender itself. There you go. Hope I helped. Oh my god, 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 oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> I'm hungry. I wanna eat. I'm hungry. My stomach is quickly. Renegade, 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 woo! Am I even recording? Am I even recording? Am I even recording? <laughs> okay, yeah. Yep. So here's a quick tutorial. So here's a quick tutorial. So here's a quick tutorial. Ha, 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 ha. Oh, she's jumping. She's gonna break the glass. Ooh. I'm gonna tell mommy. Haha. -ha. <laughs>